Oh, you don't think this is my baby? Oh, I get it. What do I hear? Shotguns in your future? The mother is a missing person. And Hello, baby. You come with me. Get out of here! I never met Peter get involved with it, I didn't. I know, but I am involved. But we're looking for Tony Jones, or his parents. If you'd come to see your little boy and you saw an older man wearing an apron carrying a baby, what would you think? Jack Webb was so fond of saying, this is the city. I thought we were going rooftop dancing. Do you know of a better rooftop? You're a gambler, aren't you? No, I just take chances. There's a difference. Not when it comes to relationships. And I'm not so sure I want to have one right now. Neither do I. Do you know what I want? What? I want all of that. You want to share it with me tonight? No strings. No strings. Definitely no strings. Take a minute, okay? By the way, get in the back seat, keep your head down, and don't move until I tell you, all right? sincerely apologize for making you sit through all that boring paperwork. Hey, it's not every day you get to fingerprint a bunch of drug-crazed teenagers. I want you to stay very close to me. It's very dark in here. 
the tennis association should really do something about this. Well, they have. They're armed. <laughs> Hold on a second here. Here we go. Voila. What is this? Good night, Tony. Good night and goodbye. No, 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 you don't think this is my baby. No wonder you're not looking for a relationship. You've already got a pretty heavy one right there. No, 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 I have never seen this baby in my life. Now, wait a second, what? <laughs> Who are you? What is this? Wait, shh, quiet. no, no, quiet. No, please, quiet. Shh. Mr. Heindorf, you can't just barge in on me here on a Friday night. I didn't think you'd be here. That's even worse. I'm entitled to my privacy. And I'm entitled to protect my property. From what? From some middle-aged Casanova cop who's trying to turn my nice two-bedroom with convertible den into the last days of Pompeii. How can you say that? I've been a model renter. Porter, I know you've been partying here. That is ridiculous. Why don't you talk to the neighbors? I'm sure you got them all terrorized. I mean, who's going to speak up against a gun-toting cowboy with a badge? Look at these floors. Yeah, freshly waxed. Sure, the cover-up on last week's orgy. Now, I've had it with you, Porter. You know, when you first moved in, I said, okay, he's a policeman. I mean, maybe the occasional weirdo in trouble will show up at odd hours. I looked the other way when that one-eyed guy in the Buick drove up onto my lawn. Remember that? The ex-con with the machine pistol who shot up the kitchen? I helped you pick out those new cabinets. What are you trying to tell me, Mr. Heindorf? I'm selling this house because I need to sleep again. Can't we discuss this in the morning? I'm going out this evening. You're bringing her back here? I don't see where my personal life is any concern of yours. Your personal life is camped right under the roof I'm pinning my retirement on. And if that roof burns down because some floozy forgets to put out a cigarette after a night of reckless abandon... We have a lease agreement. And you have violated Clause 14 triple E. A leasee shall not visit bodily harm nor otherwise threaten our leasor under penalty of immediate eviction. Anything else you have to say, you will say it to my lawyer. <laughs> don't say a thing. Just take it. You do, and you'll violate Clause number three. You don't understand. That's my partner, Tony Jonas. He's a cop. I don't care if he's Woodrow Wilson. You know the rules. Nothing with fur, nothing under 21. Good night, Mr. Heindorf. Let's go to your place. Don't let that guy intimidate you. Come on. Let's go to your place and call a locksmith. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Why is he doing that? No, he's okay. He's probably just hungry. Look, what is more nutritious? Soup for one, or one of these, um, these frozen Chinese appetizers. <laughs> How about some vitamin D milk, huh? Um, Ike, I can't read the date here. It's either a six or a seven. It's all smudged. One day is not going to make any difference. I'm talking about the year here, Ike. By the way, this baby is not crying because he's hungry. Is he sick? I'll call a doctor right now. No, better if you call a diaper service. Oh. Oh, yeah, go ahead and change him. Did you say him? Yeah. <laughs> this is a her. Huh. I was too busy to notice. Okay. <laughs> Tony. Yeah? If we don't give this baby to social services soon, we're going to kill it. What are you talking about? She's fine. Okay. Our time would best be used by finding Doreen. Oh! oh. oh. She'll be here. She said 24 hours. She wouldn't lie to me. Anybody who would put a baby in your care is not thinking rationally. Yeah, you got a good point. She's definitely in some kind of major trouble. Whoa, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. How well do you know this, Doreen? I'd say his relationship's going to scale from one to intense. We were definitely off the charts. Oh. Oh. So in characteristic fashion. When the going got tough, Tony got going. See, that's where you're wrong. You got a lot to learn about me yet. Do I? Yeah. She dumped me. Dumped you, the great Tony Jonas? Yeah, I couldn't believe it. One week she's wearing my shirts, and the next week she's dumped them all at my front door. And yeah, now she dumped a baby. Well, at least that proves we're still friends. I, how come these tabs don't stick like in that picture? Yeah, well, they're probably not supposed to stick right to the baby. Oh, yeah, I got a staple gun over here. Somewhere. Wait a minute. I have a better solution to this. Good idea. She goes bottomless, that way no rash. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the mother. Come on. 
If the mother is really in trouble, the best thing you can do is go find the mother uh -huh. and ask her what this whole thing is all about. Let's go over to her apartment right now. Come oh, on. no, 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 no. My plans tonight do include a woman in a bottle, but both much older than this. Thank Ike, you. Ike, Ike, you cannot leave me alone with this baby, okay? One or the other is not going to make it through the night, okay? Ike, you have a responsibility here. This baby, look at this baby. This baby likes you. Kate Smith, I'm the manager. Who are you? Metro Police. Do you know where Doreen Michelson might be? Moved out two weeks ago. Hmm. Any forwarding address? Could I see your identification again? Yeah, I got mine right here. Yeah, here you go. Oh, such a good little girl. Ike, I think she's getting used to me. Hmm. Uh, she didn't leave a forwarding address. I mean, didn't even give me 30 days. Forfeited her deposit and just left. Yeah, any friends in the building? Anybody who might know where she went? People don't want to know people here. It's that kind of building. I understand. You've been very helpful. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, she's got your ears, you know. Really? Tough break. Now, this is my bust, Higgins. Sleaze bag was standing around on a street corner peddling obscene wind-up dolls. That makes it vice. Yeah, but they didn't work. That makes it fraud. They come with a limited warranty. I'm sick and tired of your poaching, Higgins. Yeah? What about those gypsies with the lawn furniture last month? How about that truckload of marital aids? Some of those qualified as concealed weapons. Let me tell you something, nipple. I'd like to call my lawyer now. Shut up and close this suitcase. I'll start with the name of the gang. Big White. It's a little noisy in here. I think we'll be more comfortable in a quiet little room in the back. You gentlemen want to follow me? Yes, Mrs. Spencer, we think she's about six months old. You have very good temperament. Yeah, she's very well behaved. She's as cute as a button. She has this funny way of grabbing. Yes, she has all ten fingers and toes. That's right. Well, well, I see you guys finally made the big bust. What's he in for? Assault with a tiny weapon? It's not a he, it's a she. And get away before you cause irreparable damage to her subconscious, okay? Didn't know you had a kid, Jones. I don't. Oh, I get it. What do I hear? Shotguns in your future? It's not my kid, Lane. Just uh, it's got your chin, Jonas. Yeah. Well, the baby was fed about an hour ago. Shredded pork and cheese nibs. Well, we ground them up, of course. You want to come right over? That's fine. We'll be waiting for you. I, don't you think we're being a little hasty with this whole thing? The lady from social services is coming right over for the baby. Right. We don't know her. We know nothing about her. Tony, this is the best thing. The mother has cleared out. We know that. We've been looking all day. This child needs proper care, not cigar smoke and basketball. Jonas. Yes, sir. Is this your baby? I don't know, sir. <laughs> no, what I, mean, what I mean is, uh, no, sir. She's evidence. What Tony is trying to say is that the mother is a missing person, and we're working on the case. Oh. This is your day off, isn't it? Yes, sir. But as you know, we seize every opportunity we can to get more experience. Right. I could have sworn that baby was yours. Sir, what? It's got your slouch. Ike, what color would you say her eyes are? I don't know, Tony. Hazel, probably. Hazel? Yeah, Hazel, listen, you're becoming far too attached to that baby. The best way to help out your friend Doreen is to see that that baby gets into the right hands. Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, right-handed, sure. Okay, I want you to go right now. 
I want you to go and double check the hospitals, check all the uniform reports. Come on. This situation needs more objective thinking. You're much too close to this. Just turn around, don't look back, keep going. By the time you get back, the baby will be gone. We'll be able to focus in on helping your friend. Come on. Hello, sweetheart. Detective Porter. F. Spitzer Social Services. I'm here to effect a transfer of case number 29942, white female baby Jane Doe. Yeah, good. Let's sit down and we can talk. Sign on lines 42, 50, and 70. Press hard for three carbons, please. Hello, baby. You will be coming with me. Oh, sure. Sometimes the handcuffs are not so easy, yeah? Yeah, I tell you, why don't you put those on the baby when the baby settled down a little we bit? We have our rules, detective. This ID bracelet must stay on at all times, especially after that little incident last month. What incident? It was just three babies. They'll turn up. I want to tell you about the baby schedule. We wake her oh, we up. We make our own schedules. Thank you very much. Okay, it wasn't your fault. So what do we do now, huh? <clears throat> what? <laughs> I just couldn't. They sent over a very sweet lady. But something inside me just snapped. Well, you don't just kiss off social services. What did you tell her? I told her we found the mother. You did? No, we're gonna find her. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter, because I found the father. You did? Yeah. Check it out. Cute ears. Cute ears. Pointy chin. Pointy chin. Blood type O negative. Blood type O negative. Mother impregnated January of 87. January of 87. Yes, sir. That's my baby. <laughs> <laughs> the sir... baths, dishwasher, double oven, refrigerator, and garbage disposal. How's the cupboard space? See for yourself. Open house. You can't do that without my permission. Read your lease. Paragraph 9. If Lisor, after reasonable attempts at contacting Lisi are unsuccessful, Lisor has the right to enter premises for purposes of inspection. You didn't try to contact me. Why not? I was sleeping. I didn't know that. It's 7.30 on a Sunday morning. Well, when do you think people look for houses? They pick up the morning papers and they hit the streets. It's in the paper! Oh, drab, hideous draperies. Try the tap. Or the precious crate. Wonderful closet. Thanks. You're not going to get away with this. There are laws to protect against people like you. Sue me. And uh, maybe I will. Do you want me to get it? No, I don't! Good call. Final cost you five grand. You don't got it. Uh, I don't see a trash compactor. Oh, I don't need one. I just leave the lid off the trash and the rats gnaw it down at night. Yes! Hi, I need some help with my little princess here. What? My daughter, man. Oh, you don't know if you for sure if that's your daughter? What are you talking about? Of course she's mine. It all adds up. We went out a year ago. She dumps me for no reason. She refuses to see me. She goes off to have the baby. Here you go. Tony. Why else would she leave her with me, huh? Answer me that. Listen, Tony, I'm kind of tied up right now. I, I'm talking about my family here, okay? Get over here. Is there something wrong with her? No, something's not wrong with her. She's just fine. Uh-oh. Just that I got a new lead on Doreen. I want to check it out, okay? You want me to come as backup? Of course not. I wouldn't ask you something as insignificant as that on your day off. Well, then what is it? I want you to babysit my princess, yes. The important thing to remember about the outlet pass, okay, is control. Now, I know, I know you've seen magic baseball, this thing, 80 feet, but you're not there yet, are you? No. Don't even think that way, okay? The key is accuracy. Oh, there's Uncle Ike. Oh, boy, am I glad you're here. Tony, I don't really think I'm up for this. Why don't you call a sitter? A sitter? A stranger? Want me to leave her with a stranger? Yeah, I remind you that prior to yesterday, we were both strangers. Yesterday, she was not my daughter, okay? You're going to be fine. i got tons of books here. Come here and listen to this, okay? You, you don't understand. I can't really... What? What? 
point that. Now listen to this. Tony, it's Doreen. I didn't know who else to turn to. My parents were out of the country. Well, you were the only one I could trust. I, I can't explain it, but I have to work something out. I miss her so much. All I need is another uh, 24 hours. Thanks, Tony. There. Did you hear that? Mm-hmm. It's a foghorn. So? It used to bug the hell out of me. The Rains folks had a boat at the marina. We used to sneak down there nights and play tugboats. So you think she's there? Possibly. Here. The milk's in the warmer, okay? No, I can't. I. She is a great baby. She sleeps all the time, hardly makes a peep. I'm doing the best I can. You gotta try to understand that. You do understand that, don't you? You don't understand that. All right, I'll tell you what. Let's go answer the door. I'm coming, give me a minute. All right, here we go. Okay, okay. Yes. We must have the wrong apartment. No, 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 hold on. We're looking for Tony Jonas. Yes, this is his apartment. It is? Yes, who are you? We're his parents. Oh, sure. Well, uh... Tony here? Uh, actually, let me be back. This is why we should call first. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the friend. I mean, I'm, I'm the partner. Uh, I quarter. Tony, of course, has mentioned me to you. Uh, no. Uh, did he uh, mention us? No. That's really... He leaves a lot of things out, Tony, doesn't he? Oh, we live in Redondo Beach. Oh, it must be very nice down there. Uh, we come up once a month to change the flowers on Tony's grandfather's grave. That's a nice thing to do. Uh, sometimes he takes us out for dinner when we surprise him. Such a nice boy, isn't he? Thinks of everything. <laughs> so, Mr. Jonas, what is it that you do? Do you live here, too? No, no, I don't live here. It's just Tony and the baby. No, I mean the baby is new. <laughs> That's redundant. All babies are new. <laughs> What I mean to say is that the baby is new to the situation. Just exactly what is the situation? It's an unusual situation. Does the um, mother live here? You're going to have to speak to Tony. Uh, why don't you get comfortable? I have a bottle in the freezer. Okay. With Ike. Who's Ike? He's a friend. The baby's fine. I'm a mess. What the hell is going on? What? Come here. What? Come here. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Look, it can't be as bad as you think, okay? Whatever it is, we can both work it out together. Oh, it's such a mess. I never meant for you to get involved, really. I didn't. I know. Look, but I am involved. The baby proves that, right? Right? You like her? Do I like her? She's incredible. She has those great little ears, you know. <laughs> I know. Come on. I know. I know. I know. Come here. 
Now you tell me about what this is all about before who knows what happens to make this situation even weirder than it already is, okay? Come on. Come on, here we go. Tony, watch. <laughs> I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Are you okay? I'm fine. I just don't know. Well, you don't know what I've been through. No, you don't know what I've been through. Getting my ribs kicked in by people I don't know for reasons I don't know while you're sitting there with baby bottles and my little kid. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. How long have they been here? Seems like years. What do they know? It's not what they know, it's what they think they know. If you'd come to see your little boy and you saw an older man wearing an apron carrying a baby, what would you think? Fourth and long yardage. I have to tidy up the kitchen. Okay, folks, here's the deal. Uh, things look weird because things are weird, only they're not as weird as they seem because things always look weirder than they really are until you find out what things are really about. So what you got to do is calm down, buck up, and see what's really going on. What is going on, son? Well, for one thing, that's my baby. Or in different terms, Mom, that's your granddaughter. Uh, Mom, the good news is that he's not the mother. In fact, he doesn't even live here. I hardly even know him. Who is the mother, Tony? Her name is Doreen Michelson, Dad. Mom, you're going to love Doreen. Are you going to marry this Doreen? I don't know. I have to find her first. Oh. You see, the last time I saw her, she was in a blue Chevette being chased by two guys with guns. Oh. Mom, no, Mom, it's going to be okay. Really. Listen, I'm, I'm going to get, I'm going to get married. I'm going to quit being a cop. It's much too dangerous, like you always said. It's better for the baby, and I'm going to go into business with Dad. What business are you in, Mr. Jonas? I'm retired. You want to resign? Yes, sir. When? As soon as I find my future wife. You want me to introduce you to someone? <laughs> Sir, I just want you to know that I think it's in the best interest of my child to provide her with a father who doesn't come home beat up or dead. You never told me you were a parent, Jonas. When did this happen? 24 hours ago, sir. <laughs> you work fast. Thank you. Are you sure you know what you're doing? It's the best thing, Lieutenant. A cop's life, it's just too unstable for a kid. You know how screwed up they can get. Look what a basket case your daughter was. I mean, uh, I mean, she's great now, sir, but growing up with you as a father, she... I mean, with you as her father also being a cop, sir, she... Never mind, sir. I get the point, Jonas. It's tough. Yes, sir. Well, now that you're going to be a civilian, I guess I can tell you what I really think of you. Yes, sir. You were on the road to becoming one of my better detectives. I was? It's too bad. We'll never know how good you could have gotten. Gee, sir, this sort of comes as a shock. I guess I'd like to take this opportunity to tell you what a wonderful... I'll put the paperwork through today. They'll have you processed out in 24 hours. Long enough to find a wife. I guess so, sir. Good luck, Jonas. I'm going to miss you. Thanks. Yeah. Well, getting sleepy, right? Yeah. The information from gang detail you requested? Thanks, Sergeant. I did it. Are you sure this is what you want? What I want and what's right are two different things. Look, Tony, if you want to talk about I this... I want to find Doreen. Okay. Look at that. It's the tattoo one of those Cretans was wearing. Gang's detail identified it as part of the colors of the 20th Street Gang. A lot of them hang out in an Oriental place on Fitzhugh. Let's check it out. What about the baby? Horton's got a seven-month-old. Horton! I'll watch her. 
How'd you know? You get the same expression on your face my wife does when she wants to dump me with the kid. Hey, Hoyt. <laughs> 211 in progress, 4th and Main. Patrol, there's no units available. Back them up. Roger. Walker? I'll watch him. Oh, Walker. Yo. You're with Horton. But, sir, I... Move it, Walker. What am I going to do with the baby? Okay, now, listen up, Baldy. You do everything I say, and we're going to get along just fine. <laughs> out on Stain Naugahyde waiting for a rematch with some whacked out jackal who wants to make my kid an orphan. Last week you said that you couldn't see yourself doing anything but this, that the street was in your blood. I'm just trying to keep my blood off the streets. I've got to start thinking about the kid. A lot of cops have kids. <laughs> Fine, I want my kid to have some things, you know, things that a cop's salary cannot provide. The most important thing for your kid to have is a happy father. I'm happy already, what do you want? It's the one day you wake up and there's this whole new thing in your life. It's called responsibility. Like I haven't had a responsibility as a cop? You walk these streets, you gotta worry about everybody. And what happens? You know, you're so busy, you forget to worry about yourself. And the next thing you know, you're, you're old and you're alone. I, I just, I'm sick and tired of looking out for everybody. What I need is somebody. Well, I hope it works out for you, kid. Because I'm gonna miss you. Like, you know, when I said that thing about old and lonely, I wasn't... No. At my age, you're too old to have kids, so you become one. Take them. No, no, no. Let them swim upstream. I got a feeling they'll lead us to some bigger fish. doing at a place like this. We gotta find out what apartment he's going to. Go ahead. No, you were here first. You said go ahead. Okay. Yes? Mrs. Sherman, this is Robert Poole. Who is it? Robert Poole with Continental Northern. My office spoke with you the other day. I didn't speak with anybody from Continental Northern. Well, that's odd. I wouldn't be here if they didn't speak with you. Is this some insurance thing? Yes, it certainly is. <laughs> then you must have spoken with my husband. Hold on a minute. Yes, that's right. That's exactly who they spoke with. Yeah, well then, forget it. Because I'm not interested. What a business. Residence is shown owned by a Colombian national, Carlos Morales. Subject currently under investigation by DEA for extortion and drug trafficking. No wants and warrants at this time. 
One Henry, 21, Roger. Oh, what do you think? We can't bust them now. Wait, see if Doreen calls again. At least I know what kind of stuff she was involved with. I think we ought to go home. Pick up your baby, let's go home, okay? You have a whole new life to plan for, remember? <laughs> feelings, I hope. I don't believe this. I'll believe this. Contract. Signed. I sold it an hour after you left. Congratulations. Would you mind telling me where they're taking my stuff? Sure. Out in the backyard. <laughs> but no hurry. Couple is not moving in for at least a month. I checked the weather, however. It's supposed to rain to this week. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the tip. No problem. And, uh, may I have that key now? You mean this one? Yes. Better get your lawyer to get it, because I still live here. You can't do this! What, you call the police? You better hope you don't get me! And so the frog tried to turn himself back into the prince, and it wouldn't work. He looked down at his reflection in the pool, and after a while he thought, who wants to be a prince anyway? I think I'd be happier hopping down the pads, hanging out with the other frogs, and you know what? He lived happily ever after. Get it? Happily? Okay, so the old man's a cornball. Deal with it. This thing's gonna work. You're gonna have to put up with each other. Or we're gonna have some fun. But first, we gotta get Mom back. Grandma and Grandpa like you. I know, I know, I know. Grandma has that thing with her heart every time she gets a little nervous. But don't worry about that. Dad took her to a nice salad bar, and she should be good as new next month. You know something? A downtown loft is no place for a little girl. So we're going to get you a little house with a little yard. Sit there and watch you grow up. Be somebody. And watch me grow up. Be somebody. It'll be great. Great. Yay. It'll be great. Okay, you read this for a while. I'll be right back. Who is it? It's John Rapp. Who? Come on, man, open the door. I'm here for the baby. Stand back. What are you talking about? Didn't Doreen tell you? Tell me what? I'm the baby's father. Look, I told you all. We moved in together, we had the baby, and I split. I feel guilty enough about it already, so just leave me alone and give me the baby, huh? Son, if you're in trouble, we just want to help you. Look, they said no cops. Who said no cops? Nothing. Nobody. Look, man, just get out of my way, huh? Just relax and stay out of mine, okay? Oh, let's just take it easy. Look, it's my baby. I can handle here, this, okay? okay? Ah! You don't understand! They've got Doreen! Tony! They've got Doreen! You okay? I got up to two, sometimes three grams a day. It's a lot of money to be snorting up your nose on a banker's salary, didn't it? I wasn't paying for it. They were giving me the dope and I was uh, shuffling their money around for them. Dirty money. Yeah. I needed the dope. And they needed the money where it couldn't be found. 
So how did Doreen and the kid fit into all this? You look at your kid in the face and you realize your own mortality. It makes you think about a lot of things. Last week they wanted me to lose close to three quarters of a million dollars. Did you? No. It's in the trunk of my car. Uh, Doreen and myself and the baby, we were going to go someplace and I was going to clean up. You know, start over. So when they couldn't get you, they went after Doreen, huh? She got so scared. You know, I told her I'd just, just get out of the apartment, you know, disappear. She knew the baby would be safe with you. We were going to meet up later and figure out what to do. Where is she now, John? I don't know. I'm supposed to meet them downtown somewhere tomorrow morning at a hotel. And I'm supposed to give them the money and they'll give me her. Well, let's do it. It's okay, we'll be low-key. I want the kid to have two parents just as much as you do. Her name's Eunice. We'll talk about that later. Tony. Mm. The baby. Lane. Lane. You got any idea how they're going to contact you? They said just go up to five and that they'll contact me. Look, I know these guys. If they smell a cop, they'll disappear. Don't worry. We can blend into any crowd. You're getting off or what? <laughs> This is going to be a tough crowd to blend into. It's a possibility. Let's go. Give me all your cash. What? I got an idea. What? What do you want? Give me your money. Where are you going? Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Hail. Hail Mary. <laughs> Mr. Rath? Yes. Hello. Hello. Hold the bag with the money up, just above the railing behind you. Okay, good. Where's Doreen? Now look over your right shoulder at the Fantasia Disco. We'll make the exchange in the back room, just right behind the dance floor. Look, is she all right? Why don't you judge for yourself? Meet us in the Fantasia in five minutes. You like it? My pants are too tight. It's the best I could do on short notice and 150 bucks. You know, to rent these wasn't easy. Well, the problem is my gun. I don't see any bulge. That's because you're not looking at the back of my waistband. Well, what are you worried about? I'm worried about what gets blown off if I sit down wrong. Have you seen John? No, let me see. Wait a second. Uh, oh, yeah. Ike. Ike. Over there. Where? Over there. John, what's happening? What are you guys supposed to be? Blending in. Look, everything's worked out. Where's Doreen? I saw her. She's fine. What do you mean you saw her? Well, she's fine. I can handle this alone, all right? Look, I'm just going to give him the money. John, if you don't trust us, we can't help you. They'll kill her if I don't do this alone. Let's go. Come on. Hold it. What's your problem, big man? Give him time to prove he's alone. Fine. Let's go. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Turinese? Turinese. She have to lip her? Flying up to run run? Snee rang in the flange de run thing? I beg your pardon? Why? Don't you snee my flying up or I'll kick you in the aeroplasm. You're not her. Star Trek! <laughs> I'll go this way. Hey, you 
said you let us go when we gave you the money. As soon as we get outside. Bring police! Bring police! Oh. Put him down! Put that gun down! Nice and easy, nice and easy! As we say in Turinese, I couldn't snee any lipper. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Eindor, the moving van will be there sometime this afternoon. No, there's no hard feelings, no. I'm not going to sue you, Mr. Eindor. I'm going to kill you. Hi. Hi, oh, hey, where you been? Dorian and I dropped John off at a drug rehab unit. How's he doing? Pretty good, considering he's guilty of a felony, guilty for not having married Doreen and torn up inside because he's got a kid who needs a father. That boy's made a lot of mistakes. That boy's in bad shape. For what it's worth, I called a friend of mine in the DA's office. John's been very helpful finding all that dirty money. DA's happy. He's probably going to recommend a suspended sentence. Good news. And we are going to get a little credit for shutting down a major drug operation. The Colombian connection? Right. They pulled that guy out of his penthouse about an hour ago along with a half a ton of cocaine, an illegal arsenal of weapons, and $300,000 in cash. Unbelievable. Hmm? Jonas. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hi, Mom. No, Mom, I got rid of the baby. Yeah. Dad? Yeah, hi, Dad. No, I'm not trying to kill Mom. <laughs> Dad, would you listen to me for a second, please? Dad, let me explain something to you, okay? Listen. I know that you're entitled to remain silent, but I have an off-the-wall question I want to ask you, all right? Just how long the lease do you have on that penthouse? This is Dan Rather. For insight into the stories that shape our lives, turn to Experience You Can Trust. Weeknights on the CBS Evening News. Next, McCall must rescue a young woman the mob has marked for murder, but he soon discovers she's really his daughter. A special two-hour equalizer. Next.